Hey friends, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my cozy little nook on the interwebs and thanks for joining me. Today I am so excited to be starting the Family Dynamics Challenge created by Standing Simmer and Pastella Pixels. I have been dying to dive into this challenge with you guys and I hope you're excited as well. We are going to be following our heir, Aspen Sinclair. She is from the deep jungles of El Salvadorada and is moving to the beautiful world of Brindleton Bay, where she is surrounded by the coastal vibes and beaches to live out her dream of becoming a world famous chef or even opening a restaurant. Who knows where this journey will take her? Brindleton Bay checked off all of her must haves. Did I mention Aspen thrives off of to-do list? Buying the catch of the day, cooking and baking to her heart's content and maybe even finding love. She has never been in a serious relationship and it would be nice to see if love lies here in the beautiful town of Brendleton Bay for her. Aspen is so excited to be here. She is jumping straight into an empty house tour. About this house, her parents were looking for a vacation home in Samarica, and being that Aspen was hired for the job of her dreams, that picked the location spot for them. This house is beautiful and is spacious enough for when she's ready to expand her family. It's a three bedroom, one bath, unfinished basement, and the view is stunning. Look at this, y'all. Beautiful, just beautiful. For the last two months, Aspen's parents were here helping her get settled in. They did a lot of fishing. Her dad had to test out the coastal fishing because he is convinced there is no better fishing than in El Salvadorada. also found the Salty Paw Saloon, where they met some of the locals and were able to bond. Aspen's mother was adamant about getting a dog, so the locals were able to point her in the right direction. She met Carter, the owner of the shelter, and he assured her that Snugs was a good fit. Aspen went looking for a new pet, but that pet actually found her. And Aspen had to say goodbye to her papayito and mamayita. And this was making her so sad. Aspen just got back from dropping off her parents she is sad to see them go, but at the same time, she's happy to be starting this journey. Aspen is going to start off her baking skill by baking some cookies for the locals. She has a big heart and enjoys helping others. And she's that sim that you can definitely depend on. So what she's gonna do is bake these cookies and take them to the locals. That way she can become better acquainted. Also see if she can find love. Is she okay with mixing this batter? She looks a bit confused. She's probably trying to remember the steps her mother gave her about these cookies. I don't know, but she'll get through it. For this challenge, she has to have the family-oriented, foodie, and outgoing trait. She has some extras because I have the wonderful Wilms mod in, and this mod doesn't give me any advantages, just better gameplay. Loyal lesson, Snugs is a loyal dog and likes to stay close to their owner. Aw, Aspen won't mind that at all. It's so sweet. So she has a caregiver, the lover, and she wants to be pregnant. Like she wouldn't mind to be pregnant. So this just tells us that we really have to look for a husband for her. That way she could have her children and start this family. 
So she's finished baking these cookies and we're going to make sure she puts them in her inventory so that way we do not forget them when we go out on the town. And look at Snug sleeping in the middle of the kitchen floor. She wants to watch the cooking channel for inspiration. She can do that. And these are the skills she has. Everything is at level one because of the time we played off camera. She just got her baking skill and watching this um, cooking channel also gives her cooking um, skill, which is perfect. So we already have one of each and we have to max out the baking and cooking skill. And also what we have to do, I forgot, we have to get her into the culinary career. So I'm going to have her call up her boss to make sure she's on the schedule. We'll pretend while she is signing up for this job. She just wants to make sure, hey boss, I'm ready to start my work. I just want to make sure I am on the schedule. He's like, yep, waiting to see you tomorrow. So she has some tasks that she has to complete and we're going to start on it right away and let's make this salad. But before she does that, Snugs is hungry, so we have to fill his bowl. So let's fill it and let's make sure this is set on a schedule. That way Snugs is not waking Aspen up early in the morning. And let's try making that salad again. So we're gonna cook and we're gonna do garden salad so she doesn't burn down this beautiful kitchen. And we'll do family size, that way she has leftovers. Yeah, the schedule is set for six hours, which is perfect. Now while she's making this salad, let's get into the rules of this challenge. We have to have five gold dinner parties, master cooking and baking, marry as a young adult and stay happily married until death do us part, have three to four children, maintain a garden with 10 unique plants, including a cow plant, and complete at least three fourths of this aspiration. This is gonna be super fun. I This is the part that I was really so excited about. First of all, I really love cooking in The Sims game. Maybe because I really can't cook all that well in real life. And her cooking skill is going up and she's almost finished this so that way she can eat. And we'll put this away for her. While she is eating, can we take the time to appreciate this kitchen? This is the only room that her father and the contractors redid. Because you know, chefs are particular about their kitchen. And she knows if she starts this family, she's gonna be house poor. And she's not gonna be able to update the kitchen the way she wanted. So she took advantage of her dad's free labor. Oh, look at her bonding with snugs he's a good dog and he's a playful dog so he needs to play with toys so let's get him a toy box that's something i completely forget about getting when i have pets so let's get him this toy box and we'll do it in this color we'll place it right here and let's buy him some toys all right so we have balls we're going to just get a ball because there's nothing really else to choose from which is lame we'll hang up these pictures for her and we'll put some frames around it so that way she has a touch of her mom and dad here with her in this house that looks better great so she wants to discuss food flavors and all that stuff so we have to really get out of this house to do that so why don't we go visit the locals and deliver these cookies. Aspen has finally arrived and she is meeting Cameron who is from university I believe but he is our fish market vendor and we are going to just introduce ourselves, ask if he's single, haggle, buy the catch of the day and we have to get salmon. Salmon is the best fish. So we got our salmon and now let's give him the gift of the sugar cookies and see how he likes that. Run for Run for uh -huh. 
Come here, Cameron. I have a gift. You know, I'm new in town and I just wanted to share my sugar cookies. See how you like them. I'm going to be a world famous chef one of these days. And her dad is saying congrats on landing that job, but he already knew I had that job. She, he already knew Aspen had that job. Let's see what Cameron says about the cookies. Oh, he's happy about it. He's really impressed. He's like, thank you, Aspen. Is that your name, Aspen? Next time you want to haggle, I'll definitely give you that discount. And Marcus, we're going to say no to you. Snugs loves chasing the seagulls. He is so silly. It's nothing worse than getting home and having to repair her toilet. She is going to kill her dad because he's the one that pranked it. And she hates getting splashed. One thing about Aspen, even though it's not a trait, she is very neat. But she's hungry, so we're going to go pause this repair and get something to eat. She is chopping away at this on a Jerry, but I am so intrigued to see how this is going to come out because I don't think she ever made this at all. And she still has to work on her daily task for work. She reached level two of cooking, so that's a good thing. Come on, let's see how this comes out. I am so, so curious. Okay, it's interesting. We are back fixing this toilet. Do you believe we started this toilet at 12? It is 2.33 in the morning and it's still not fixed. So we're just gonna replace it. Let her hop in a shower and we will see you in the morning. And we're up with Aspen and she is so hungry and it is 8.48 in the morning. She is going to be so late for work, but she's hungry. So she is going to eat some of her leftovers and hopefully make it to work on time but the way she's moving i doubt it she didn't even brush her teeth she didn't go to the bathroom she didn't even freshen up good thing she took a shower last night but aspen you have two minutes to get to work so let's move it we're gonna cancel out this food come on okay yeah come on get up stop thinking about it i exit out of this food get up and go <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's still eating and she's late. She's seven minutes late. Your carpool is going to be leaving you. Great, she's now heading out. I love her in her uniform. I haven't seen this in a while. But have a good day, Aspen, and make sure you work hard. Yeah, she is back and she got promoted. Aspen is promoted to head dishwasher. She got a bonus of $334 and she works the same hours. Now for this to-do list. She's got moved in. She saw her mom and dad off. She bought a dog and she baked goodies for the locals. So now we have to find love, get married and have kids. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to comment, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care and I will see you in another video soon. Bye guys.